Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have the arrest of a particularly unsavory character by the name of Amazing Audits. Not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, and he's getting arrested for disorderly conduct. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In a courthouse in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Permanent record. We want her face in their records. Permanent record. What was your name, ma'am? I'm Officer Lipper. Lipper? Lipper. L-I-P-P-E-R, right here. Remember me? Please take him to CCSO for disorderly conduct. Yeah. We're going to end up with his jacket. Yeah, remember? Bad hip, bad knees. He's been informed. He's got a cane right here. He's got a cane right here. I have not been disordered. This is incorrect. This is the second time. Bozeman. Oh, watch out! He has a broken brain, broken leg, broken arm, broken hip. Much like Evil Knievel, he's broken everything in his body at least three times. Isn't it amazing how everything on their bodies is broken as soon as they get arrested? What's your, what's your first name? Being kidnapped. The judge in this courthouse is disorderly. The judge in this courthouse in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, baby, is corrupt. He injected himself where it did not belong. Uh, he, uh... Don't like the officer. Remember what I'm Yes, I know. So far, these officers have been just fine. You guys, we are in Eureka Springs showing up for Mr. Amazing's uh, court. Well, it should not have helped. The judge involved himself is what happened. That is a conflict of interest, conflict of interest by the judge. You guys need to start calling the courthouse in Eureka Springs. Mods. I've seen plenty of videos where the judge gets involved in a fight in the courtroom. That's not being biased. That's uh, just maintaining order. If I, you guys are in here, please start calling the courthouse in Eureka Springs. The judge is corrupt. This is a blue line supporting county, I guess. We're here in Carroll County, Arkansas at Eureka Springs. <laughs> they arrested Mr. Amazing. The judge in this courthouse in Eureka Springs is, in my personal opinion, corrupt. In my personal opinion, there is a actual conflict of interest going on. This is Mr. Amazing. Mods, please put up the, the phone number for Eureka Springs Courthouse in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Do not call if you want to, unless you want to redress your government, which under the First Amendment, you have the right to do. If you feel, in your opinions, that our government needs redressing, you know what to do, guys. Oh, so you want to pull that dirty tactic of call flooding over this. How marvelously stupid you are. Eureka Springs uh, police has been very cordial up until this point thus far with Mr. Amazing. They understand that he does have some medical issues and conditions pre-existing. I needed more help, actually, but I mean, it was not, I had to, now we got to figure it out. He's that. Oh, you've got to figure it out. They're trying to adjust those torture devices that they have around his wrist, so they're not as torturous, I do believe. <laughs> It's best we can do right now, yeah. You got this, right? I'm not restrained or nothing. You're not restrained? No. Okay. There's no room in the car. Give me a second. All right. Sorry. You go ahead. Put your foot down for me. I'm going to try that. I he, he's got a down. bad hip right. and bad knees. He might need a transport. Do you have a transport? No, we don't transport. They don't transport, guys. 
Ten mile trip. Hey, 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 guys, spread the word like wildfire. Eureka Springs, Arkansas, guys. So thus far, the police have been cordial. Yes, ma'am. Or yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you. He will need his cane, okay, though. Okay, we'll take Is it okay with you if she takes your backpack? My, my cell phone in my pocket? Is your cell phone in? I don't have your cell phone. I got my two. These officers are bending over backwards to accommodate this frauditor, but yet it will never be good enough for his subscribers. And, uh, yeah. Do you want your cell phone? I need the cell phone, yeah. Yeah, okay. he needs okay. the cell phone. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's exactly what I might have. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Arrested, not um, amazing. That uh, appears to be uh, what it is. Hey, Car Thief News, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for uh, putting up that those numbers, those digits, uh, so we can uh, make the calls that we need to make. Um, they are going to. Are you guys going to be? I'll find out if where they're going to be transporting him out and get you guys that information at ASAP. Um, not sure. This gentleman supports the blue line from Texas. He's got a Texas symbol on his estate on his. I'm not sure what the unit number, the people's unit this is, but I need to find out exactly where they're taken. Uh, amazing. Hey, Eric B. Johnson, I will brief you guys again. Uh, we came into the Carroll uh, here in Carroll County at the courthouse in Eureka Springs because of the charges. Uh, the bogus charges that were going on uh the judge actually stepped in and spoke there it should be a mistrial on that case because of that uh he where are you guys transporting him if you don't county, very carol county to the sheriff to the sheriff's, the sheriff's office. office okay i just want right. sheriff's office in carol county okay i'll forget it in five seconds Okay, guys, they're transporting Mr. Amazing to Carroll County, uh, to the sheriff's office. You guys can call there, but do call the courthouse here in Carroll County at, um, uh, it's in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We came here to for his court appearance. Um, Mr. Amazing had made some calls yesterday to verify date, time, and place, manner, all that stuff. With the court clerks, they, of course, started laughing and making fun and poking fun and blah, blah. That was yesterday by phone, by telephone. Anyway, he... She spends a long time after this just babbling on and on about other things. So let's just skip ahead to later that night. Many, many minutes later. Uh, reckoned with. And again, that's as far as I am concerned. That's my honest, humble opinion. I've worked professional jobs before. Okay, Lady J just rolled in on the first day. Hey, hey, hey. Now, as you all know, 
I'm doing what pretty much what they said. They want me to get back with them. Well, there's somebody in there. Can you let me in? Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you. It's supposed to be bad luck to have umbrellas all up inside. So let me put mine down. I honestly don't know if she likes dead air or what, but let's skip past it and get to the point. Many hours later. It looks like we have the phone number of... One, five, two, five, three. Okay. I know you're here for Bates. Are you needing to know what charges, man? I know his charges. I was told earlier when I spoke to a female uh, back there that his bill would be anywhere from 250 to 500 and she asked me to give you guys a holler back about seven. I'm here and I'm ready to get him. Okay. Um, he is, his charges have the arresting officer called and has added a charge to it and it is assault. How, charge. how did he assault anybody? I don't know, ma'am. Oh, for coughing? I work in the jail, ma'am. I don't know what okay. happened out there. Okay. Oh, man, that's very interesting. Charged with assault for coughing in the officer's face. Well, with all diseases going on right now, I can find that quite understandable. By a dirty and, judge. I'm telling you, he, Judge Dale, it, your judge here in this county mm -hmm. at Eureka Springs, mm -hmm. Judge Dale um, Ramsey, I believe his, his, he said his name. Okay. In my 1A humble opinion, okay, mm -hmm. he's a dirty, crooked judge, and he needs to be, well, we'll take care of that. Okay. He, yeah. Um, so, how, what, what, how much is it going to be to Bell? He Bellevue? doesn't have a bond now. Man. That charge does not have a bond. That charge is a PC charge, and he will see the circuit judge on Monday for that charge. So, what is the name of the judge that he will be seeing on Monday? Jackson. Jackson. Yes, ma'am. What time Monday? I need all that information if I can get it from you, sir. They, you, he usually comes in between nine and five, ma'am. I don't know. If I don't know that judge's schedule, um, so I'm not going to just quote you a time. I'm going to say between nine and five. He comes here. Yes, ma'am. He will come here and do that. Do that uh, uh, here. Yes, so I'll be hanging out in your county all weekend. Yes, ma'am. He'll see him Monday. Yes, Does your judge understand the ramifications of how hard it is for the folks that come here? Uh, you know, because. He went through this in September when he was originally charged. We come here to uh, uh, satisfy those charges or whatever. Yes, what happened is yesterday he called the courthouse to verify the time, place, and manner of his charges uh, that he needs to go through. Yes, uh, your county it reeks with tyranny. In her mind, in her world... Everybody that's not on her side is a tyrant. The, the court clerks laughed at him, hung up on him, and when he went in today, it was a whole setup. Okay. It's either been audio recorded or video recorded, all of it, including the judge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need you for both. So, so 9 a.m., so he cannot get out of out tonight. No, ma'am. No, he will see a judge for uh, first thing Monday morning. Okay, you guys, you heard what a corporal people, right? Or pe pe I can never say, it. say your name for me, please. Pebble. Pebble. Yes, okay, I don't want to slaughter names. I Thank you. You all have a great evening. Thank you, ma'am. And I hope it's not too busy with your phones.
that's all I can say. Y'all, he cannot come out because they've added another charge on him. I'm sure the judge... Well, now, look at the internet tough guy issuing veiled threats. Oh, I'm so scared. That's because um, Mr. Amazing coughed. So, um, and Mr. Amazing also told him he had a medical condition. If he didn't like it, he could stand back. Uh, and that's what happens when you walk up on somebody. So, um, guys, I, I really, you know, I hate making it hard for these guys over here because he, he's at least cordial to me, uh, to my face, calling me ma'am and everything. But this is just unreal. This is really unreal. Um, this is real. This is real life. This is what happens when you commit crimes. Now enjoy your walk of shame back to the car. Yeah, they came back. I think I know. I understand exactly what happened. I think I do. Well. I'm going to um, have you invite you guys to walk with me. It's all wet and rainy and stuff out here. I do have my umbrella. Yeah, anyway, it's all wet and rainy out here. I'm going to invite you guys to walk with me. I'm going back to my unlocate my place of that's un, my disclosed place. <laughs> there you go. Well, there you go. She spends another 15 minutes walking around the parking lot babbling about how unfair this is. But you know what? That's what happens when you uh, commit assault like coughing in somebody's face, knowing that it could spread a disease that would be infectious, or even being a criminal in general. This is the kind of thing that happens.